guys welcome back to another video um, in this one today I really wanted to discuss um, blocks with attributes and especially blocks with attributes used for the site engineer so in a, in a couple of previous videos I've talked about how you export coordinates and um, information from a block so this is a block that I use so as you can see it's got the point ID the east and the northern and um, the height information in there I'm just gonna in this video I'm just gonna walk through and uh, show you how you make this block um, so you can make one yourself and then how you export it so the template file as well so um, so yeah just a quick reminder so this video is just on a, on my playlist CAD for setting out so it's these two here how to export points in AutoCAD for setting out part one and part two so I, I discussed there how you actually um, how you actually find these points so the curb line and the profile line and um, how you work out the elevation but in this video this video today I'm just going to discuss how you actually make that block so so first things first I'm just going to go into AutoCAD and start a new drawing okay so we'll just kick off so I'm just so I just like to make a rectangle you can do it absolutely however you want so I'm just going to make this one I'm just going to make it quite small I'm just going to make it maybe 1.5 by 1 meter I'm just zoom in on that. So this is a starting point of a block. And to make it a block, you simply just go to the insert tab up here and uh, click create block. So just follow the instructions on this. So give it a name. So I'm just going to call it chords block. So for the base point, I'm going to specify this on screen. So make sure that's ticked objects, I'm going to specify them on screen, what I actually want to be the block units, I'm just going to make this unitless and um, just make sure you have opening block editor selected ok so I want the insertion point, so whenever you click insert block I want it to be the top left hand corner, you can have it anywhere you want but I just prefer the top, top left hand corner so there we are, select objects, I want this rectangle to be my object ok, enter so now this has opened the block editor, so this is where you actually um, give it attributes, so the things we want to extract this is where we put them in, so, and to do that you just go up to attribute definition or you could just go back to the insert tab and click define attributes, it's exactly the same, but I'll stick in the block editor for now so um, attribute definition, so I'll click on there so attribute so what do you want it to be what's a tag so I'm just so for for the top line I'm just going to keep it at point ID or you know what your point is going to be called so I'm just going to keep it as text prompt in here so I'm just going to put enter a point name and just for the default one I'm just going to keep it as text okay so for the text height I'm just going to specify that on screen so put off on so text high I'm just going to keep the text roughly that high let's keep it at 185 for now ok so that's your first one done just going to do another one text so I'm just going to call this one um, so this is the easting um, eastern part, so I'm just going to call this x, the x coordinate ok so instead of putting a default um, eastern in, in or x coordinate in, I'm just going to insert a field and to do that you just click on this button here I've discussed fields in another video but um, I'll just go through it again so field category I'm just going to go block placeholder and the block we're talking about is Quar's block that we just made. I want uh, I want it to talk about the position. I want it. I want the position information. And I'm just gonna just want the x coordinate. So deselect y and deselect z. I want it in decimal units. What kind of precision do you want? So I want it to three decimal places. You can have it more. You can have it less. But three decimal places works for me. And I'm gonna click OK. OK, X, I'm just going to put that there. Now, just to do the Y coordinate of the uh, knobbing. Y. 
default insert field again it's already done it for me, block placeholder position instead of X I'm going to select Y, so select Y and deselect X OK text height so OK, OK again put Y just down there and then the last one is the height information I'm just going to put height prompt into a height value Default, I'm just going to keep it just as height, just so you, you can see it when the box has been made. So, height, I'm just going to put right at the bottom there. Okay, so that's your block. So, once you're happy with it, just click. Um, you can always edit it a bit. So, if you wanted a bit more space at the bottom, you could always just drag it down, make it look however you want. But I'm happy with that. So, close block editor, save changes to quads block. Yes. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this rectangle for now and um, I'll insert a block and see what it looks like. So that's this block already made. So to insert it, just go to insert, insert block, quads block, that's the name we give it. Click a point there and it comes up with these prompts. So what do you want it to be called? So I'm just going to call this um, point one. Eastings and Northings have already been done for us. Enter a height value. So if we knew the height, whatever it was, be it a, a manual cover level or a, or a point on a road, you could just get that from from the drawings, from a long section of a of a manual schedule, whatever. So I'm just gonna put a point in of one one four point five four five. Okay, and we'll see what it looks like. So this is it. So you can just double check it. So click ID. So it's a top left hand corner that we're interested in, and it's 614, yep, and 120, yep. So this is working, and let's just test it out somewhere else. So let's draw a circle at, we'll put the center point of a circle at 2000 by 2000, so 2000 Easterns, 2000 Northerns, enter. So that circle is, so the circle's up there, so I don't want the circle, I'll just keep it small. Let's cut, make the radius 300, that's quite big. <laughs> but if we wanted to move this, and you can always make this, this block bigger, so you can click on the block, and you can just click the scale button, and you can make it bigger. Like that. And let's say you wanted to copy this one to the center point, so just click copy, top left hand corner to copy it. Make sure I'll turn it off off. Just make sure you got snap to center point. Center, snap there. So this one should be at 2000, 2000. As you can see, it hasn't updated. But just update it, just click, type in regen. Regen all. And it automatically updates for Easterns and Northerns. And to change any information you want, as far as it's a high information, 100.110, for example. And if you want to change the point name, you just change the point name to what, whatever you want. Okay, let's say for example, we wanted to set this circle out. So um, all you have to do is just copy your block at the top left hand corner. And you could just click around here randomly wherever you want knowing that it'll update the Easterns and Northerns for you. Enter, so all the same at the moment, just regen all and it's automatically updated them all for you. And you can just go along naming them naming them new things and um, and I'll do it. So I'm just gonna quickly name these just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just given them all uh, an individual name. So I've just got center point and center point one right through to twelve, and we can easily put this in a in a text file, then to uh, an Excel, and then straight into your total station. I've I've discussed that in another video, but to do that, it's just a command called at text. So this just um, extracts this 
this attribute information so it extracts the point ID, the eastern, the northern and the high information you put in but to do this you'll just need to make a template so I'll just show you the template I made so it's um, this is what my template looks like so it's just this here and I just just work this out um, I just followed the guide that was um, on the Autodesk, Autodesk website about setting up a attribute extraction template file but this one works for me just for eastings, northings and height and point ID information so if you want I can leave a link I'll leave this in the description and you just put this in a just in a notepad and and you just use that so I'll just show you how it works for now so let's go back onto us onto us here so let's type in at text select the objects we want to extract information from so all of these around here Okay, so that should be 13 objects. Yep, 13. Template file. Just select your template file, which is here. Points, add text. Open output file. Where do I want to save it to? So if I look here, desktop. I'll just save it in the desktop. Um, let's call it points circle. Save. Okay. And let's see what it looks like when it's come out back to the desktop so here's our notepad and as you can see it's got the point ID eastern northern and um, your high information you put in so um, that's really how you make um, make a block with attributes to extract um, information just another thing while we're on it um, to while we're discussing it so I'll just copy this block out over to another drawing sometimes you get information sent through on drawings and it's got a 3d polyline which is really really handy especially in AutoCAD 2D so um, instead of working out the heights manually it's it's already got all the heights in here for you from the designer or from the client or whoever so if I just click anywhere randomly on here you can see it's got Eastern Northern and the height information already in there so instead of doing a lot of number crunching to work it out you can just click anywhere to work it out so if I just put my block in here so that's a bit big there we go. Or you can always go insert. So I just got insert recent blocks. And as you can see it's here, quads, blocks, it's one we made. So just double click on that. See where you want to insert it. So I want to insert it there. I'm just going to call this um, road center line. Close that for now. Okay, so if I copy this over, select it, copy it top left hand corner. Okay, so if I put it on here and regen it, you see it updates coordinates but it doesn't update the height. But you can do the height automatically if you want. So you just double click on this, or you can click on it, go into your block editor. Yeah, I want to open this in block editor. Okay. And then you just click on this. Change the default. So you go insert field. And it's still on block placeholder position. But instead of Y, I want it to show the Z coordinate. And we'll see if that works. Save changes to quads block. Okay, so I'll get rid of this one. Just go to insert block again. Recent blocks, cause blocks. And let's say we just put it there, for example. So we'll call it road center line. I'll close this. So it's come up as zero here because there's no height information in this space. But if I copy this over to where the road center line is. So let's say one there, one there, one there, one there. 
get rid of that one and regen them. You can see, I'll just get rid of this one so you can see it. And as you can see, it's already automatically showing the Easterns, Northerns, and the height information just because this is a 3D polyline. So, um, so that's really handy and that can speed you up and you just export this in exactly the same way. So, um, so yeah, I hope this video has been useful. Let me know if you want me to cover any more, any more points or if you want me to go over anything else in greater detail or if there's any other topics you want me to go over, just let me know. But um, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and, um, and uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Right on, goodbye.